Hello everyone, welcome back to another Dog2 News video. In today's bit of news, we are getting some more physical media. We are mm -hmm. getting a re-release of Series 1 and 4. Well, 1 to 4, I should say. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be an odd selection, wouldn't it? Yeah, just 1 and 4. Just, uh... Which are probably the, the the best of the bunch, I would say. Just some, yeah, in my agree. humble opinion. In my mm. humble opinion. Yeah. My favourite Eccleston and my favourite Tenant. Yeah, you're not Eccleston by default. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's great to see these finally get restored because the original Blu ray release, the music is so overpowering. I, I know Murray Gold is, oh, you know, wants you to feel all the emotions, but it would be nice to see that sort of toned down a bit yeah. and you can actually hear dialogue. Yeah. This isn't a Christopher Nolan movie. No, no, it's not. It definitely yeah. isn't. Mm. I mean, having it all upscaled, all in one package, mm. right around the time that the 60th specials come out, it, feel, it feels like the right time for this. Mm. Yeah. And I mean, so I'm not someone who necessarily collects much physical media when it comes to the new series. Yeah. But I'm certainly tempted by this because, you know, this is something that I wouldn't necessarily get by going on iPlayer, having that upscaled version. You got an exclusive documentary with David Tennant and Russell T. Davis. So, yeah, it's certainly something that is on my radar. It's something you've already pre-ordered, isn't it? I have because I'm, I'm a sucker for mm. it. Um, despite, I think this is my third time buying Series 1 to 4. <laughs> So I've got the oh, vanilla dear. releases, and then I bought the steelbooks. Now I bought this, um, and then I'll buy the collection sets when they come out, <laughs> and then I'll buy the implant or whatever it is after the Blu-rays. Yeah. Oh, um, you long gamer chip. Yeah, I'll click my fingers, and then I'll be like, right, I can no, stream. Stop to be streaming into your head directly. Yeah, yeah. There we have it. Um, um. But that's the joy of Dogsy fans. We'll buy any old tat, <laughs> put it mm. in a new box, and we'll be like, yay, pretty shiny thing. Yeah. But this does almost feel like the um, equivalent of what we're getting with the collection at the moment, the yeah. classic series. You know, especially this big bundle of them all together. And the fact that it's the same price as a collection set, but you're getting yeah, four 20. series and specials. And I know a lot of people are. Uh, well. I know a lot of people are probably going well with special features. I presume it will have all the same special features as the original box sets. I mean, that's what the uh, news article indicates, isn't it? And you get all your confidential and everything. It'll be interesting to. It'd be lovely to say that this box set has the full length confidentials, because that's one I would happily buy a box set of just Doctor Confidential. Mm. Um, but I doubt it has it. But the good thing with the RTD DVD box sets is that they are. They literally have every extra you want, really. Mm. Um, but there is one thing missing from it, I believe, which is the specials doesn't have the audio commentaries. But it's on yeah. the Steelbook, um, which is interesting. I presume that it's will get odd choice of that, but... Yeah. I assume... Yeah, I that will... Since they've got it, it'll make sense just to whack it on the disc and there we have it, really. Yeah, especially if you do it for the other series as well. Yeah. Like, you know, best to keep it consistent. No behind the sofa, sadly, but... We, we'll have to... That's, a, yeah, that's another we'll reason to for us to double, double dip. dip. Triple, uh, quadruple triple, dip. Yeah. Because you know damn well we'll buy it. Mm. Um, but yeah, it'd be, it'd be great to get this because I know that the speed rate or frame rate for the original Blu-ray was off. So it'll be hopefully in the correct speed um and it'd be interesting to know what edit we get for father's day uh yeah. what edit that will be um so it'd be, it'd be interesting and obviously i think there's a change in like the credits um and like the to be continued on some certain stories as well so it'd be interesting to see if it's like originally broadcast versions i know um that's journey's end on iplayer has the next time for next doctor removed but mm. weirdly enough it still has like a singular cyberman stomp as the bbc logo turns up yeah 
which is yeah bizarre so be interested to see what translates with that onto uh, this blu-ray but, i mean how many discs do you think this is going to have because this is certainly not collection fair this is going to require a couple more than the hat i would say possibly like 16 maybe 15 16 yeah i think yeah maybe like three for each series and then two for the specials and then maybe one for the bonus disc if there is one yeah whatever they're doing there i mean it'd be interesting to see how it's packaged because that's we mm. don't have a cover or anything as you pre-order it's just a generic little blu-ray case which is definitely not going to be the case it's going to be is it going to be something a bit more premium or is it going to be quite standard where you mm. just open up you've got all your trays there you flick through them to the disc you want yeah imagine if it is like the collection artwork style <laughs> that would be insane that would be i think that would definitely make people more inclined to get it mm. but i don't think it can't quite be that same box style though because that would just be too big yeah the break it up. <laughs> yeah but it's exciting it's exciting hmm i mean yeah. the trailer i mean despite seeing these stories a gazillion times you know growing up of this era still I, hits it still hits you like i i, I buy <laughs> i'm buying mm. it you know uh, i mean we mentioned the collection earlier yes we do now have a date for season 20 don't we the we 18th do. of september although so, amazon's apparently not delivering them until the 23rd for whatever reason um, um you know that's why you use hmv and you can use the link below to either pre-order any of your doctor goodies like underwater menace or the series one to four box set or your collection set or any of the physical media needs you have got you covered get your 10 percent code off and it helps me and i get 10 percent off and i can get money off more doctor who stuff so it's all good it's all good okay. shameless plug well, goes there. around comes around <laughs> yeah i scratch your back you scratch mine it all works out fine <laughs> uh but yeah that's now a month away yeah it is right. so exciting the biggest collection set yet mm. um yeah i can't wait for it and just to yeah. watch five doctors again yeah. and again and again I mean, all the versions of it since we are getting it maybe a bit earlier than we perhaps anticipated mm -hmm. you know i think when this first came along we were thinking november for mm -hmm. the anniversary could we perhaps see something around december instead that's a season six or something do you think there's room still this year for another collection set or are we going to be waiting until I, next year i would love to think we will get another one but I feel like two's the limit now. Uh, maybe you might get one early January. We might get an announcement between now and the next. Obviously, we get an announcement. But I think we will see an announcement this year, possibly. Mm. Whether it gets released, I don't know. Because there's still two, well, three things up in the air. Whether that be the Smugglers. Because I think just taking off the Underwater Menace. Um, that being animated it makes sense but the smugglers is there then we have yeah colorizations of team of the cybermen and an unearthly child um yeah. all heavily rumored stuff yeah. so, pinch of salt with them but pinch of salt but i, th I think there's um a good possibility of, yeah there's credibility there i guess with the underwater yeah. menace no smoke without fire yeah so I think it's it's an interesting time for you know the physical media stuff, isn't it? Really, I think yeah. we're, we're starting to wind up now. Mm. Yeah, um, we're ramping up with the uh, 60th on the horizon. But yeah, I think certainly by March next year we'll have another collection set. Yeah, like in our laps by the end of March there will be one. I I, um, I feel like it'll be a Tom one. Hmm. Yeah, mate. I think sixteen was what we were leaning towards, wasn't it? Yeah, six. I think it'd be either sixteen or fifteen. Yeah. Um. um uh, in other news, meanwhile, we've got a trifecta of um, yeah, yeah news, yeah. haven't we? Today, underwater menace. There has been an update. It seems on the disc contents, and that either BBC have listened to criticism, and or are just going a to... load of fans just going oi. Yeah. Where's this? Bullying works. 
Uh -huh. Or this was always the plan anyway, and there was just a bit of a miscommunication in the announcement. Because I thought it was weird when they said, you know, this is what you get on your discs. This is your special feature breakdown. Because I don't think they've done that before, have they? No, not straight away. It's normally yeah, Doctor Who Magazine. Yeah, usually say for them. I mean, maybe Doctor Who Magazine is just going to be a bit too busy come November. Yeah. Is their reasoning there? Uh, but yeah. Anyway, we uh, had a bit of a gripe. Quite a few people had a bit of a gripe that your black and white animated episodes were on a different disc from the two existing uh, episodes so if you want to watch um, episode one then episode two and three uh, as they were and then go back to animation for episode four you would have to take a disc out put another one in take a disc out again put another mm. one in uh, now it seems they've reverted to the format they had for all the other releases featuring uh, existing episodes where they're there on the disc with the black and white episodes and then the colour episodes are on the other disc with the special features so all is right in the world that's all worked out great on the BBC for listening there and it's just, it makes sense to me yeah it does because you're not going to want to watch black and white and colour episodes together anyway yeah so it seems odd to be having them on the same disc. Like, you're not going to be switching back and forth between those. Yeah, so keeping them separate makes sense. And, mm. yeah, exciting times are ahead for physical media. We've got at least yeah. three big <clears throat> releases to look forward to in the coming months. So I, I think there was a scare with Russell coming over and Disney having mm. the lack of physical media being released for we'd say stop but russell knows us he's one of us he's he kept the it. uh chibnall whitaker logo on the collection for us yeah he's one of us so i i think it's safe to say that doctor physical media in terms of television stuff it's here to stay yeah. um and i'm sure we'll get the six of specials hopefully i'm praying we'll get a steelbook release i'm praying um, but we'll definitely get a physical release. Yeah. All right. Well, at least over here, because mm -hmm. I think a lot of stuff has started to be discontinued in Australia, hasn't it? When it comes yes. to the Marvel movies, Disney's no longer putting those out there. So, so yeah. perhaps scary times ahead for physical media, but it looks like Doctor Who is staying strong. Which is the main thing. It's the main thing. Mm. Well, that's, all, that's all we care about really absolutely, yeah really yeah yeah <laughs> absolutely because <laughs> who buys marvel movies anymore <laughs> yeah i don't even know what a marvel movie is nah. that's fine let us know what a marvel movie is in the comments below send on a postcard <laughs> to bbc <laughs> yeah. and let us know what your thoughts are on all these different pieces of news will you be picking up and double dipping triple dipping whatever in with this uh, series one to four uh little collection but not a collection <laughs> uh, the closest oh. thing we have at the minute yeah and uh, yeah feel free to leave a like as well subscribe all goodbye everyone stuff. yeah goodbye Ooh. goodbye take care of yourselves